So it seems like this type of stuff is just happening more and more often now, where Twitch streamers will literally sit here and beg for money and then insult their viewers whenever they don't donate. And honestly, the streamer we're dealing with today is probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Because at one point, this guy comes in the chat and he's like, hey, that's pretty disrespectful to say, especially when millions of people have just lost their jobs. And I kid you not, she basically said, even if you've lost your job and you have pretty much no money, it's still not too much to donate $5. So anyway, we're going to take a look at the first clip that we have here from the streamer. And as you're going to see here, she pretty much just tries to make her viewers feel guilty if they don't give her money. It's ridiculous. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing, because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like that's where it is. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton, it's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> Now, first off here, it's pretty bold of you to call this entertainment in the first place. I mean, how is sitting here begging people to give you money entertainment? I don't see how anyone could enjoy that stream. And second of all here, she tried to make some horrible analogy comparing the $5 to $20. And she sat here and said, you know, with $20, you could buy a full meal with that. That's completely different. Where do you live? We're getting a meal for a single person cost $20. Have you never heard of the Wendy's four for four? If you're paying $20 for a single meal for one person, you're getting scammed. You just got your pockets ran. And also here, she was saying, you know, if you don't have $10, then you shouldn't be in the stream in the first place. You should be working and trying to get money. Have you ever thought that maybe they have $10 and they just don't want to give it to a Twitch streamer? Not everyone wants to throw money at streamers on Twitch. You can't complain about them not giving you money when you're streaming on a platform that allows free entertainment. No, and I have no idea. Yeah, but it's fun to think about. That's so toxic, especially when people are losing their jobs. It really isn't. It, it really isn't toxic to ask for subs when you're streaming. And if you believe it is, then I imagine that you simply don't understand how this platform works. And I encourage you to get more perspective. Well, you know, here's the clear difference between this type of Twitch streamer and actual Twitch streamers when they ask for subscriptions. An actual Twitch streamer, while providing entertainment, would in the middle of it add, hey guys, if you have an extra $5, you can support the stream by subscribing. The difference here is your entire content and stream is based on asking for money. You're not providing any actual entertainment. You're not sitting here dropping 30 kills in Warzone and then, you know, after you won the game, you ask for a subscription or two. You're literally sitting here doing nothing. Okay, now here's the third and final clip from this Twitch streamer. This is the clip that I was talking about earlier where she literally tries to tell people that even if they're unemployed and have no money, they should feel the need to give her $5. It's crazy. I'm unemployed, so basically all my money goes to bills and food or I would support you. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh-huh. It's five dollars. It's really like you're never you're not gonna you're no one's gonna convince me that what I'm saying is so rude or so unacceptable or so outrageous. It just simply isn't. It's just it's five dollars. It doesn't cost you that much to sub. And it's very, very wonderful because it allows streamers to continue supporting their communities with content. That's all. Well, here's the thing. It's not really ridiculous or outrageous for a Twitch streamer to ask for subs, but when you're doing it multiple times during a single stream and doing it without providing any other entertainment, that's when it gets outrageous. I mean, what's the point of subscribing to the stream in the first place? What are you subscribing for? Why are you subscribing to a stream when literally the stream is based off asking you for money 24-7? I, I don't get how you can support a streamer like this. They're literally sitting here insulting you 
and you feel bad and give them money for it. Do you not understand what's happening? Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexOnYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.